They must really think that we are stupid. The mainstream media must really think we're stupid. I got to give credit where credit is due. Bill Plaschke from ESPN, he dug deep into the creativity to fabricate and publish this complete work of fiction. Well, Casey, who is Bill Plaschke? This dude is a certified loser. He is clinging to the final days of his sports media career. Bill Plaschke has been featured on the rotating panel of embarrassing failures on Around the Horn on ESPN for the last two decades. He's also very active on Twitter, where he is known for sending out these tantalizing woke mating calls. Every time I hear fans at Arrowhead Stadium mock the Guardians with their harmful chants, it pains my soul. All my lonely men, Billy needs a woke hug who wants to come join me on these silk sheets and massage both heads with preparation H. Every football season, Bill Plaschke expresses his fake outrage because fans of the Kansas City Chiefs are still doing the Guardian chant. He's also responsible for producing classic woke hits every afternoon on Around the Horn. Who could forget his duet with Sarah Spain? We both have hairy backs because our white privilege is whack. He was also featured on the L. Duncan hit Misogyny is Real featuring Bald Bill. ESPN. They assign grades to their collectors of woke welfare. The worldwide leader in woke. They have categories that describe an employee's dedication to the cucumber. For example... Dominique Foxworth, he is a grade B shitfuck. He's an expert at the exploitation of mythical racism, but when it comes to the really important issues like men exchanging their masculinity for a tuck-friendly bathing suit, Dominique, he misses the mark. Just because he adopted a feminine name doesn't mean Dominique Foxworth is dedicated to the dong. Bill Plaschke, he also finds himself with grade B shitfuck status, but Billy... He is a driven wanker spanker, very ambitious. He's in church every Sunday at Woke United Methodist. He is not only dedicated to denouncing his white privilege, he's also dedicated himself to flaunting his pride. It is not enough for Billy to proudly fly the transgender flag in his front yard. It's not enough for Billy to boast about the sexual orientation of his own daughter. Over the weekend, Bill Plaschke dedicated his time to earning the prestigious status a grade-A shitfuck. Last Friday night, the LA Dodgers, they held their 10th annual Pride Night celebration. In honor of making it a full 10 years celebrating the woke wiener, the Dodgers planned a very special ceremony for the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Now, we explained what happened in depth over the weekend. I'm not going to do that here again today. You can find that video from Saturday here in the archives on YouTube. There was plenty of legitimate outrage because the Dodgers chose to honor the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. Many Catholics, hell, most normal people in general, they were disgusted by this celebration. The Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence are a group of dudes that dress up like nuns, foo-foo dancing around mocking the Catholic faith. So it's understandable why most Catholics and normal people would find this to be revolting. Not Bill Plaschke, though. No, 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 no! Somehow, Billy's found a way to follow the tenets of Two-Face. He claims to be Catholic while also worshipping the woke oak tree. Now, this seems like a complete conflict of interest, but what the hell do I know? I don't like nuts. Over the weekend, Bill Plaschke submitted his application in the form of an article in the LA Times to earn his grade A status from ESPN. The title of this work of fiction was Dodgers Pride Night Feels Like a Rainbow of Love. Rainbow of Love? I didn't see any love given to the Mr. Sisters last Friday night. The stadium was completely empty. Bill Plaschke, though, he's got a reasonable explanation for this. He explained in the article, the stadium was empty due to security concerns. The Dodgers were worried that unhinged religious fanatics would try to harm these delicate sisters with rectal blisters. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, Bill. Those Catholics, they're just known for their random acts of violence. It must have been security concerns, that's all it was. I'm sure it had nothing to do with the fact that the Dodgers were being humiliated over this decision to award a group of men dressed like women with an award designed for actual heroes. 
Speaking of the Community Hero Award, which was given to the Mr. Sisters Friday night, Bill Plaschke, he tried to make a compelling case as to why they deserve the award. Before this article was published, the identity of the brothers was unknown. Bill Plaschke outed them. Their names are Sister Unity and Sister Dominia. Oh, Unity. Unity. I just love me some unity. According to Bill Plaschke, the Mr. Sisters, they are responsible for unifying the city of Los Angeles. He claims they were instrumental in fighting the AIDS epidemic back in the 1980s. They touched the lives of many men while others were afraid to touch them. They might have been responsible for touching dudes, but I doubt they were saving their lives. You see, there's one small problem with this claim that Bill Plaschke's trying to make. The group did not exist in Los Angeles in the 1980s. The chapter of the Mr. Sisters in LA, they weren't founded until the mid-90s. Now, how can a veteran journalist like Bill Plaschke make a mistake like this? All I had to do was go to their Instagram account to figure out when this group was formed. Now, you mean to tell me, Bill Plaschke, he didn't do his due diligence here? Or does he not allow facts to get in the way of furthering the agenda? I'm sure this was just a simple oversight from Bill Plaschke, right? Right? He also claimed the Mr. Sisters were responsible for organizing charity events that spread the message of inclusion, hope, and love. Now, I tried to find some of these events where hope and love were being spread. I had to look them up myself because for some reason, Bill Plaschke failed to give examples. Huh. I wonder why. Now, I couldn't find any examples of the Sisters organizing charity events centered around inclusion, hope, and love, but... I did find examples of them spreading the woke love. Check it out for yourself. Look at all the love being spread in this picture. Here we have Sister Unity showing off Target's latest offerings of tuck-friendly thongs. Take a look at all this love right here. As you can see, this ambitious wanker spanker dressed up as Whoopi Goldberg and is demonstrating how to properly carry a baby. Bill Plaschke calls this serving the community. Let me ask you something. Who are they serving? The only thing I see being served here is the freshly grilled woke wiener. But again, I'm sure this was just a simple oversight on the part of Bill Plaschke. I wonder if he was in attendance, though, for one of their more recent acts of charity. Back in January, the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence, they organized a special feast for citizens of Los Angeles. Now, as normal people... We have our special feast during the month of November. We call it Thanksgiving. Turkey, dressing, rice and gravy. But this feast organized by the Mr. Sisters, it was more similar to a Plaschke family Thanksgiving. They called it the Feast of Ass. And I am not making that up. That's what it was called, the Feast of Ass. My inside sources tell me Bill Plaschke was in attendance and he went back for seconds. He has a healthy appetite for being an ass. As a lifelong Catholic, Billy claimed to be emotionally disturbed by the Mr. Sisters mocking his faith. But his emotional disturbance was quelled by all the good things this group has accomplished. Billy was wondering if he was the only Catholic who felt this way. For 99.9% .9 of Catholics, I'm sure that would be the case. But Bill Plaschke, he was able to find the one Catholic priest in Los Angeles who was not opposed to the Mr. Sisters. Father Chris Ponet, or Chris Pane, I don't know how to pronounce it, but whoever he is, he's the director of the Catholic ministry with gay and lesbian birthing persons. What? I, I thought Catholics believed that homosexuality was a sin, so... Why would they start a ministry dedicated to a lifestyle that is 100% contradictory to their own faith? Father Chris Pane criticized followers of his own faith. Those protesters outside Dodger Stadium, they were demonizing and bullying the Mr. Sisters. That is not the position of the Catholic Church. Um, how were they demonizing and bullying them? They were literally praying for them. They were praying for them by name. We are now considering prayer to be a form of demonization? 
This Catholic priest also said there needs to be room for compromise. Compromise? Compromise. This right here, this is the problem with a lot of these modern religious leaders. They're afraid to call out evil. They're afraid to speak against it. This dude said it himself. We need to compromise. Since when does good compromise with evil? It's entirely possible that the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence have done some good in the city of Los Angeles. I couldn't find any of it, but that doesn't mean it hasn't happened. But just because you do something good doesn't mean you can't also be evil. Mocking the Catholic Church, organizing these demonstrations where you have some dude pretending to be a woman dressed up as Jesus on the cross, that is evil! Bill Plaschke claimed we cannot allow silly costumes and sexual demonstrations to trump these amazing acts of caring and kindness. What acts of caring is he talking about? Again, Billy doesn't provide examples because there are none. Look, the Mr. Sisters, they might feed starving children. They could see a turtle in the middle of the street and get out of their car and move it into someone's yard. That does not matter. The perception is the only thing that matters. What is the perception of this group? They mock the Catholic faith. And it's not like this perception was given to them unfairly. The only thing they promote on their Instagram account is the mockery of the Catholic faith. I don't care what Bill Plaschke says. He can try to explain it away all he wants. There is no explanation that you can provide. Giving an award that was designed for heroes to a group that promotes evil, that's bullshit. But give me your thoughts. Bill Plaschke tries to defend the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence and fails miserably. There's just... There's just no way to defend this. Now, do you think Bill Plaschke really believes what he wrote in the LA Times? Or is this another member of the mainstream media pushing this narrative just to hold on to their job? You let me know. Sound off in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.